Hey guys, this is my first pregnancy video and I thought it might be helpful for somebody who's thinking about getting pregnant or is currently pregnant to see what kind of supplements I'm taking. Now, I'm not a doctor and I'm not an expert. I'm simply putting out there what I do to keep my body healthy while I am pregnant. I am currently in my second trimester and the following supplements are supplements that I have been using since the beginning of my pregnancy and um, will plan to use toward the end of my pregnancy and maybe even postpartum. So I wanted to share with you what I'm doing and that might be different from what you're doing and that's okay. Um, but I thought it might be helpful for you to see exactly what I'm taking um, to stay healthy while I am pregnant. Typically I don't take a lot of supplements as I believe most of the nutrients that I need can be derived from the food that I'm eating. But one place where I feel like I could always use a little support is in my gut health. And that leads me to my first supplement that I take pretty much year round no matter what. And that is probiotic. So one that I really like is um, called BioCult. And it's a tiny little um, probiotic, I'll show it to you. It's really small. They come like this. And it's super easy to take. Um, right on the package it says that it's approved for pregnancy. And that kind of makes me feel really good. I find that it just keeps me very regular. It keeps me um, feeling like my immune system is supported and um, helps me digest some of the food. Because as you know, if you are pregnant, your gut balance is kind of off sometimes. Um, so that is something that I take year round. Now I don't always take that brand. And I think I've mentioned before, I have tried many, many brands. I also like Prescript Assist and I've tried a few other um, brands that I think are pretty good. I think most probiotics are gonna just be really helpful. And um, for this one, if I'm feeling just fine, I just take one a day. Um, sometimes when I'm not feeling so good or if I, my stomach is a little upset, I'll take more than one. And in addition to that, I also try to eat lots of fermented foods. So probiotic um, is really important in pregnancy because you do share your gut flora with your child. I know that sounds really strange, but um, probiotics can also be transferred through breast milk. So if you are breastfeeding afterward, it's important to maintain that healthy gut balance um, by taking those probiotics to manage the negative um, or harmful bacteria in your gut. So that's my first one. My second one that I take somewhat year round is fish oil. And not all fish oil is created equal. And um, as someone that doesn't eat a ton of meat, it's kind of important for me to make sure I'm getting all the nutrients that I need, especially while pregnant. And a lot of your doctors will probably recommend that you take DHA while you're pregnant to help the baby's brain grow um, and for just overall growth and development. It's also great for you. Um, I also find that it's a huge boost for the immune system. So something that I took in my first trimester was this. Um, it's by Garden of Life. It's called Ocean's Mom. And the reason why I took this is because I really couldn't handle the taste of the normal fish oil that we take. And um, I was really turned off to fish in my first trimester for some reason. I really wanted it in my last pregnancy and this pregnancy. I've been eating fish regularly, but definitely in my first trimester I was not interested in it. Now something that I've learned about fish oil over the course of the last few years is that most fish oils are extracted through a heated process, including um, the one that I just showed you. So that is probably not going to be most easily absorbed by your body. The best way to take fish oil, in my opinion, is in liquid form and making sure that you're getting a cold fermented fish oil um, or cod liver oil. So what I have taken in the past is this green pasture blue ice fermented cod liver oil. And um, this is liquid. It comes in an eight ounce container and it comes with like a little syringe. Um, I took this all through my first pregnancy, postpartum, afterward I started giving it to my daughter at about nine months. Um, she took that for several months and I really feel like it boosted her immune system. Um, 
I noticed a lot of health benefits from it. I really believe in this stuff. However, recently I have read up on it and um, got kind of curious about another brand. So during this pregnancy, after my taste for fish kind of, um, or my distaste for fish went away, I started using this um, extra virgin cod liver oil, which is also a cold fermented cod liver oil, um, by Rosita Real Foods. This one is only five ounces. It is a little bit more expensive. In fact, I would say this for me, for our family, is kind of a splurge. But the way I see it is that you kind of either pay now for your health care or you pay later. And that's just kind of what we believe. And um, since I'm not taking too many supplements, it's something that I've really enjoyed taking during my pregnancy. And something that I noticed was my now two-year-old who really didn't like the taste of the green pastures fermented cod liver oil and who wouldn't take it any longer will now take this one. It's so much milder. Um, this is the one I'm talking about. I can't even tell you the taste difference. This is like so easy to take. I will tell you though that um, it doesn't come with a little syringe so you're going to need to borrow one of those from um, whatever medication or food supplement you have it from. Um, and the other one, Green Pastures, I still think this is a good company. I still think they make good products. I will say this is the Cinnamon Tingle brand of brand um, flavor and I really did not like this flavor so I got it thinking it might go easy into smoothies and things, but I was wrong. So, I'm sticking with this one for now, Rosita Real Foods. I started taking this um, right after my first trimester, and I've been taking it, and I will take it throughout my pregnancy, and definitely afterward, and my daughter's now taking it. I will link in the description box a dosage chart, so you can know how much to take of this. I am currently taking between a half a teaspoon and a full teaspoon, depending on how I feel, um, of this and I give my daughter a quarter of a teaspoon daily, which is slightly below the chart that I'm going to recommend, but there's, there's a lot of wiggle room and a lot of different opinions, so please do your research. Um, the next thing that I take during pregnancy is a prenatal vitamin, and I don't usually take a multivitamin, it's not something I've really ever done. Um, but while I'm pregnant, it's just kind of like my insurance policy, and I make sure to take one that is derived from Whole Foods, and um, it's by New Chapter. It's completely organic. It's called the Perfect Prenatal, and it is a whole food cultured multivitamin. So this comes with a little probiotics to help you digest it as well. What I love about this is that you take it three times a day so that you're not wasting all those vitamins because for the water-soluble vitamins you'll notice that when you take them you're just going to pee them right out so whatever you don't need your body gets rid of which is an amazing thing however if you're taking a huge mega vitamin in the morning and you're just peeing it all out it might not be giving you filling in all those gaps so um, what I love about it is that this one is very gentle, you can take it on an empty stomach and you do take it three times a day so that your body is able to absorb more of the vitamin. What I don't like about it is that you have to take it three times a day. So it's kind of tough. For me, it's worth it and I want to say that I average probably taking it twice a day just to be honest. Um, I often forget the lunchtime one. But I really, I took this in my last pregnancy. I really like it. It's never bothered my stomach. Um, it has a folate in it, which is what you want to look for. Um, when you're pregnant, you need a lot of folate, not folic acid. Folic acid is the synthetic form. Please do some research on that if you don't know what I'm talking about. You want to make sure your vitamin says folate, not folic acid. So that's very important. Um, even before you get pregnant because you need it immediately and um, it's great to have throughout your whole pregnancy. The next supplement that I take is something new. I haven't tried this before. Um, I actually haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but um, during this pregnancy and my last pregnancy, I was doing some acupuncture 
and I spoke to my acupuncturist about um, some digestive issues that I was having during this pregnancy and she suggested taking an enzyme, a digestive enzyme. Now I've taken them in the past but I don't typically need them. So what I noticed as I got into my second trimester is that as I sat down for dinner, I started to feel like already full just looking at the meal. And as I ate, I became a little bit uncomfortable. This is a totally new feeling for me as I really like to eat and I can put away some food. But I just, towards the end of the night, I just didn't feel as hungry and I never really got heartburn, but I did get like a little indigestion and just overall just a sense of not feeling good after dinner. So what I started doing was taking this, um, it's by Enzyme Medica and it's called Digest Pregnancy. It's just um, digestive enzymes with organic ginger. Now if you don't already know, ginger is a great digestive um, kind of supporter and if you eat a bunch of ginger or drink some ginger tea with your meal, that's gonna be excellent. So that's something that I've been doing also. But when I start to feel overwhelmed looking at my plate of food or while I'm eating and I can tell that I'm just not wanting a lot of the food or it's not feeling good or even right after I eat, I take one of these and um, I've actually totally noticed a difference. So I don't do this every day, this is just kind of when I feel like it, um, but it's really helped out. Now I didn't experience that at all in my last pregnancy, so this is totally new, but I know a lot of women get some digestive issues going on during their pregnancy. There's a lot going on down there. So, um, another thing that I do on occasion, probably should do more often, but realistically I just don't remember, is I use magnesium oil. So this is by Life Flow. Um, it's pure magnesium oil, and what you do is you s use the pump to like spray it on your hand, and you can rub this like in absorbable areas. So like on the back of your knees, maybe on the bottom of your feet, in your elbow creases, or even around your neck and shoulders because it actually is kind of like a muscle relaxant, a natural one, because it's just magnesium. Most people are deficient in magnesium, so it is great for you to have a little bit of a help with um, getting that magnesium. And um, it's one of those vitamins that can be easily absorbed through the skin. So um, the magnesium oil, I think is really nice. I will say some people are very sensitive to it and it can cause a little bit of like tingling or itching so just go really easy on it. Um, I know some people too that also use it under their arms as a natural deodorant and um, if you use it without deodorant for a few times you will notice that um, your smell does change a little bit and it's for the better. Um, so I like the magnesium oil but it's not something I do every day. The last thing that I wanted to share with you was an iron supplement. This is called um, Pure Absorb and it's by Spa Tone. I'm going to take this out of the package so you can see. It comes like this, 28 in a package. So it comes like this. This is literally a packet of water. So in my last pregnancy I suffered with a little bit of anemia towards the end which is not surprising. I don't eat a lot of red meat, so a lot of people that don't have a lot of red meat in their diet will tend to you know, be borderline anemic, um, women especially. So while you're pregnant, it's very important that you get enough iron. Um, it's one of those things that you, your body can't make. You need to take it in from somewhere. Now if you like eating liver, Eating little bits of liver throughout your pregnancy is a really great way to get the iron that you need. But I will share with you that liver is probably one of maybe like two foods that I just cannot stand. I have eaten it for health reasons, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I really don't like the taste of it. Um, so that said, I use this spa tone sometimes, um, or I used it in my last pregnancy. This is. I keep ordering just a plain flavor, which is it really just tastes like water. It has a little bit of a metallic taste to it, but it's so easy to take. I just throw it into my water cup and drink it. 
first thing in the morning. And um, But this one is an apple flavor. I did not order an apple flavor. It just arrived. So I have been taking the apple flavor. I don't really like it, but it has vitamin C, which helps the um, iron be more easily absorbed. You can also take it with your morning orange juice or however you like to do. Uh, whatever beverage you drink in the morning, it just goes really easily into that. So the best thing about it is that it does not hurt your stomach and iron can wreck your stomach. So it is really scary when you're pregnant to have a really upset stomach because um, it's hard to tell like where it's coming from. So um, I highly recommend this spa tone. I do order it online and I have never seen it in a store um, in my area. So. That is all the supplements that I take while I'm pregnant and I will link all of them in the description box below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and ask. Like I said, I am not an expert, but I just wanted to share what I'm doing to try to stay healthy during my pregnancy. And of course, that involves some good healthy variety in my food, some um, just some minimal stretching and walking and good at moving my body around and as much rest as I can possibly get, which is challenging with a toddler, but you know, rest is important. So those are my little tips, my um, prenatal supplements, and um, I will talk to you in my next video. Thank you.